This section describes procedures for the disassembly and reassembly of the pump head. The pump head is taken out of the pipe stack before performing maintenance on it. Prior to taking the pump head out, be sure to drain the lubricating oil within the pipe stack. Before starting the work, ready a set of ancillary tools, making sure that the set is complete. Take the suction cover off. Take the impeller off. Because the impeller has been mounted on the shaft by means of conical thread connection, put the ancillary tool in the pump shaft spline, fix the impeller by hand, and apply counterclockwise blows to the tool with a hammer. When the thread connection between shaft and impeller becomes loose, the impeller can be removed by hand. Take the sleeve off. Because the sleeve is delicate, handle it carefully. Take the lower seal support off. Remove the bolts and then take the lower seal support off using the ancillary extractor. The lower seal support has been provided with a double cargo seal. Handle the seal carefully so as not to damage it. Take the lower seal support ring and the double cargo seal off. The purpose of the double cargo seal is to seal in cargo liquid. Check the seal carefully for wear, flaws, etc. And if any are found, replace it immediately. Take the upper seal support ring off. The ancillary extractor is used to remove the upper seal support, single cargo seal, upper sleeve and oil seal together. Take the single cargo seal and the upper sleeve off. Remove the oil seal from the upper seal support. Take the shaft off. Take the roller bearing outer race off. Before starting the reassembly, 
Check each part carefully for damage or any other abnormality. They should also be cleaned thoroughly. Sealing parts like the cargo seal, oil seal, or O-ring in particular should be checked very carefully for damage such as flaws, wear, deformation, hardening, etc. If even the slightest damage is found, replace them immediately with new ones. Carry out the reassembly of the upper seal support. High quality grease is applied lightly to the oil seal and the part into which it fits. In order to drive the oil seal in using the ancillary jig, The O-ring is attached to the upper sleeve. Apply quality grease lightly to the O-ring. Also attach the O-ring to the upper seal support. Reassemble the lower seal support. Attach the O-ring to the lower seal support. Apply quality grease lightly to the O-ring. Put the double cargo seal in the lower seal support and mount the support ring. The pump shaft on which the ball bearing and the inner race for roller bearing have been set is now put into the casing. The outer race for roller bearings is put in. Attach the upper seal support. Attach the upper sleeve.
put in the single cargo seal and attach the support ring. Attach the ceramic sleeve. Attach the ancillary jig. Lightly grease the inserting part to attach the lower seal support by means of the ancillary extractor. Attach the O-ring to the impeller. Lightly grease the O-ring. Attach the impeller. The impeller is put on the shaft and then turned gently clockwise. Lastly, put the ancillary tool in the pump shaft spline, fix the impeller by hand, and apply clockwise blows to the tool with a hammer. Attach the suction cover. This completes the reassembly work. To replace the lubricating oil, or to carry out maintenance after taking off the pump head, it is necessary to drain the lubricating oil remaining in the pipe stack. Ready the metal fitting and hose provided. Take the casing plug off. Attach the metal fitting and hose to the casing. Before the lubricating oil pours out when the metal fitting pushes the check valve in the inner part, collect the lubricating oil in a can or something similar while continuing the work. Ready the ancillary metal fitting, hose, and lubricating oil filling pump. Attach the ancillary metal fitting and hose to the casing. Connect the hose and the lubricating oil filling pump to supply the pump with the air to drive it. The pump fills the pipe stack with lubricating oil. 
The quantity of lubricating oil used can be checked on the oil level gauge on the top cover on the deck.